Hey guys, it's Jay Snow. We haven't had some WoW content in a while, so we finally got some new content. So for Winter's Veil, Feast of Winter's Veil, there's a new quest you can do. So you have to have a, I think you have to have a level 3 garrison, maybe a level 2, but I'm pretty sure it's level 3. And what you're going to do is find this little gnome in the middle of the garrison. Uh, for the horde, it should be in the middle of the garrison. And you got to accept these four quests, and what they're going to give you is Merry Supplies. So each merry, so basically you get five a day, and you're gonna be spending these five on a, a gift box, which gives you a great item. So what you're gonna do is fly over to Blood Mall Slag Mines. And make sure you have all four quests. If you miss one, you're gonna have to go all the way back. And then you're gonna do these four quests to kill uh, Grumpus and Grumplings and save children and all this kind of stuff. All right. So once you get to the flight path, you're just gonna fly a little bit over. And on the Stone Fury Cliffs, you'll find Golux Grotto, and then past that is Frostfire Ridge, and as you can see, all hell is breaking loose. So basically, there is a ton of mobs to kill. Now, unfortunately, I did not get this one, so the quest require you to do a couple of things, and there's also another way to make gold. So first, you gotta rescue kids from the cage. You gotta kill about, I think, eight Grumplings, which are kind of annoying for some reason, I don't know why. I mean, if you're ranged, they have a knockback, also they keep, they tend to spawn over and over again. And then you gotta use bombs on gifts, so you'll see these little, little yellow gifts over here. And you just gotta kill them really quickly, so let's go kill one. And for some reason, the UI bugs out when you, like, kill your third glyph, uh, what do you call it, gif? For some reason, I don't know, it's probably just for me, but for some reason, it bugs out and then I have to go find it in my bags. Then you also gotta kill the main boss Grumpus. Now this guy is dying pretty much okay I don't know how I rescued that many children but okay. Grumpus is, is, dies like every five seconds depending on what server you're on so pretty much just tag him while he's being attacked so there you go he's already being attacked. So we're just gonna kill him really quickly so he is a little bit annoying to solo but you should be able to find people I mean it's just so many and then right after I kill this actually I already have him tagged so let's just keep moving I'm gonna try to find you how to make this another way to make gold and as you can see my UI bugged out so that's kind of annoying I gotta try to uh, what do you call it uh, what do you call it I gotta throw bombs pretty much manually and it seems like nobody's attacking Grumpus I'm on my own on this one <laughs> let's get one more I need one more pack of presents two pack over there let's just get that one that would be nice but Grumpus does not seem to want to die nobody wants to kill Grumpus today I'm just gonna run from Grumpus. So basically what you're looking for is little snow patches. And each little snow patch has a chance to either contain a snowball, which is for some reason worth about 2G, or a Grumpus pet. So let me try to find one and holy crap, nobody is killing this guy. So let's try to find a Grumpus. Oh, there you go. Ah, somebody got it. So I'll try to find one of those for you guys. Alright, so here's a snow mound. I'm gonna pick it up, see if we get anything. And hey, we got it! <laughs> First try. So this guy is worth about around 500G. Probably dropping fast because you can pretty much just keep flying all over the place as many times as you want and get it. So let's go her back to her garrison. So this guy gives you the companion Grumpus. And he's about 500G, so you can just fly around all day if you want to, if you just want to keep farming him. So the more characters you have, the more gold you will get pretty much with this. So only doing it on one character, you of course won't make the 5,000k an hour. But if you have at least four, I'd say about four characters, you should be able to make it. But there's a chance you might not get it. So let me actually open up Wowhead here. Because there might be a chance I might not get anything good. So we gotta turn in all these quests. So just turn them all in, so Mary Supplies, blah blah blah. And then let's go find the Savage Gift on Wowhead. Oh, where is that? Oh, here you go, Savage Gift. So let's go, so go to Let Me Browse Goods, go to Second Box and buy a Savage Gift. And then we'll open the Gift and see what we get. So this time we get, oh, 300 oil. Ugh. So I'll tell you guys what, I'll put it in the description below also. So basically you have a 20% chance to get Frozen Arms of the hero, of a Hero, which is that uh, item level buff for your followers. And that is a 20% drop chance and is worth around 800G. Medallion of the Legion is a 12% drop chance, so you can actually get those from this. And uh, what do you call it, those are about 2,000-3,000 to gold. Elixir Rapid Mind is a 10% drop chance. I actually got two of those yesterday. Actually, I got three of those yesterday. Uh, those are worth around 2,000 to 3,000 G. 
And then Minion of Grumpus, which is the new mount out. Let's see if we can actually find it here. Let's go to collections. And let's go to mounts. And let's do Minion. Yes, Minion of Grumpus is the mount you can get, which doesn't really look all that... I mean, it doesn't look all that special and flashy, but... This guy is worth around 80k, I know on my server, it might be different on yours. So thanks for watching, as always, this should guarantee you net, this should guarantee you at least 5k, 80k if you're lucky to get them out. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time.